I'm constantly torturing myself by watching these horror movies. If you see me have a heart attack on screen, just ignore it. <coughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're all doing well during this festive season where we celebrate all things spooky. spooky. I got requested to react to the 2013 movie, The Conjuring. Of course, I haven't seen it. I have seen the commercials on these movies from time to time, but of course I don't know anything about it. I don't know what kind of horror I'm getting myself into, but it looks very intense, as always. But at least I have you all to comfort me through this journey, spiritually anyways. And I have Mr. Jacqueline hiding in the back somewhere, like a coward. I should be doing the same thing. But anyways, looking forward to watching this with you guys, as always. So thank you for the request, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this party started. We The Conjuring. That music alone is creepy enough. Don't be creepy. Thank you, that is all. And we're turning it off. No, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Or am I? Then its head was looking up instead of down, and then one day it was in a completely different room. It's moving around by itself. Yeah, okay, let me stop you right there, because I'm going to change the movie. We're going to do something a little bit more happy next week. Oh, we are so doing something happy next week. And any sign or evidence of intrusion. And this all led you to believe that the doll was possessed? Yes. Oi. We gave her permission to move into the doll. Wait, you did what? Huh? Ooh. Oh, screw that. Move out. Move out. Oh my god. Annabelle, why you do this to me? Do you really hate me that much? Let me guess. She comes back? They always come back. Hello, who is it? Sorry, we don't accept any dolls. Ugh. God, she's a very needy doll, isn't she? Well, when you behave like that, like seriously, do you think I'm gonna miss you? Oh, God. Don't open it. Do not open it. Oh my God. Move out. Move out. Oh, it's gonna follow them though, isn't it? You gave it permission to infest your lives. What's an inhuman spirit? It's something demonic. Well done, well done. You guys did a great job of giving it permission like that. Your funeral. Demonic spirits don't possess things. They possess people. You wanted to get inside of you. <sighs> I'm already on the edge of my seat. Well, we've been called demonologists, ghost hunters, paranormal researchers. Cooks. Blackos. Yeah. I guess you guys would fall under that title for me. <laughs> Next minute, I have a demon in my room. Who you gonna call? Oh wait, no, I can't call those, can I? It's a demon! Okay! Well, great job on the music. I'm sold on that. Go on, tell me your story, Ed and Lorraine. Well, first keep washing me, so forget about Jersey. <laughs> ah, Lily Taylor! I loved her in The Haunting. She was a bundle of joy in that movie. Oh no, he's sensing something, isn't he? Hey, come on, girl. Oh, that poor doggy. What are you sensing, mate? What's in that evil house? Ugh. Something's gonna happen in this house, isn't it? Isn't it? I can feel it. We've got a bit of an, a, a Midiville sort of a vibe here, don't we? Second clap! <laughs> God, how many kids are there? I've lost track. What do you see down there? It's an old piano and a whole bunch of garbage. I get amazed how many times we have to end up in the basement in a horror movie. Basement or the attic, right? <laughs> Those are neither of the things that we have in Australia either. <laughs> I've never came across a house in Australia where we have a basement or an attic. Something's up with Sadie. Yeah, I don't know what her problem is. Yeah, she don't like the house, man. It's time to move again. What the? How did you get that, darling? Roger! Ugh. Down here, honey. Please tell me this isn't where it all takes place. In the frickin' basement! 
This clock stopped at 3.07 and so did the one in the hallway. That's weird. Oh god. That's freaky. Oh no. Please tell me the dog's not dead. Dude, don't do this to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I hate this movie already. That's just cruel, man. Honestly. Hate you. Hate you. Yeah, no, we're definitely turning it off. Everything you see in here is either haunted, cursed, or has been used in some kind of ritualistic practice. God, I don't think I would even want to be in here. Like, honestly. Why not just throw them in an incinerator? Well, that would only destroy the vessel. Sometimes it's better to keep the genie in the bottle. You don't want it to set loose on anything else, right? Honey, what are you doing? Come here. You know better. Oh, and they have a daughter. Oh, honey, do not come in here. Oh my god. Not again. Really? <gasps> oh my god. What the hell was that? Stop grabbing my foot. <gasps> Stop, I didn't do anything. Oh. oh my god. It's bloody playing with the kids. Whatever it is. Oh, Evie. What now? It's Cindy. She's in my room. She's sleepwalking again. <gasps> Sleepwalking? How often does she do it? Mm. Honey, you're gonna hurt your head like that. Quit it. Hey, hey, it's cool. Let's go back to bed. Oh, God, you can tell so much bad is gonna happen later on, isn't it? You got another bruise here. Hmm? Oh, what the? Bruise? What the hell is bruising her? Oh, man. Something very evil is here. You're my friend, right? Yeah, let's play. <sighs> here we go. An imaginary friend, but it's not so imaginary, right? There's someone there. Rory, he's my new friend. Oh, really? Yeah, do you want to see him? No, no, honey, that's not a friend. That's a demon. You got to get rid of him. Oh, God. What the hell was that? Oof. Yeah. Hey, oh god. <laughs> god, I'm on the edge of my seat here. <laughs> First clap. She's so cute and adorable. Oh god. Second clap. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel sorry for this family. Oh God, what is that? It's not April, is it? It's not April. It's not April. Give me the third clap. <laughs> oh God, that's so not her. What is that? Ah, you took your blindfold off. I win, you weren't even warm, Mom. <sighs> What the hell is it then? What are we dealing with over here exactly? Oh, that's like half my rate, man. I'll, uh, I'll take it. Thank you. Mm, geez. So they're clearly struggling to make money on end, right? Mm. <gasps> oh, no, not again. Leave the damn kids alone. Oh my God. Oh, next thing you know, it's gonna possess the kid. Oh God, what is it? No, nothing there. Oh God, something's gonna jump out, isn't it? Oh my God. Oh God. I don't wanna look. I don't wanna look. Oh. Yell out for mummy and daddy. Come on. Do you see it? See what? There's someone standing over there. God, can she actually see who it is? It's looking right at us. Oh my God, she can. It's standing. Oh my god. Quick, get away from there. Call for help. Oh god. Oh no. <gasps> Mom, Dad, wake up. Wake up. Square. My door. It was behind the door. Of course he's not gonna be there now, right? Ugh. <laughs> And it wants my family dead. Eek. 
Is it time to move out yet? <laughs> oh my god, of course it does. Of course it does. Would it be evil if it didn't ask for that? Do you remember what you said to me on our wedding night? Can we do it again? After that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that it's heavily focused on family and love. It's always good to see that they're focusing on the characters more than anything else. <laughs> Do it again, Ed. You heard it all through the house because of these pipes. Well, then I guess that proves that they're not hoax. Oh my god. Darling, there's not going to be anything left of you if you don't move out of that house now. Said no one. Girls, it's way past your bedtime. It's not the girls, is it? Oh, God! What the hell is that? I literally jumped. God, what now? What now? Hey, Lily. You think it's time to leave now? My heart left me for a sec there. I cannot deal. <gasps> oh, don't follow it. Do not follow it. Oh my god, don't go down there. Girl, do you have a death wish? Honestly, don't do it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Great, and she's trapped down there. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Please tell me she ends up being all right. Oh my god. Oh, I think it wants to play ball with you, Lily. <laughs> Wanna play hide and clap? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, nah. Screw that. Hell to the no. Hell to the f no. If that's not enough for you to move out, then I don't know what is. Oh my god, and no one can even hear her. How the hell is she gonna get out of that? Oh my god, not again. Cindy? Oh. Next thing you know, the kid's possessed. Oy. My heart can't take it. I can't take it. <gasps> the moment you realize she wasn't just sleepwalking. Hey. Something's gonna come out, isn't it? Something's gonna come out. What? What? Oh my God. What the f is that? Oh my God. That looked like a witch. Is that a freaking witch? Oh god! Literally just jumped at her. God! God, the whole house has gone nuts. Tell me what's going on here. The house is haunted, and you need to leave. That's all you need to know. Come on, move it. Now, if you look into his eyes, you can see him tearing blood. Seen enough. That is all. Thank you. An upside down cross started to appear from within his body. Oh my god. <sighs> this reminds me of Exorcist as well. Well, he tried to kill his wife, but instead he shot her in the arm and then he turned the gun on himself. That's nice. Is targeted specifically by an external Oh, there force. she is. Oh god, she's in their classes. Oh my god. Oh, she's desperate now, isn't she? I'm so afraid this thing wants to hurt us. Please, please, can you come and take a look? Of course we will. Oh, thank God. Okay. God, I'm really feeling for that family. What happened? Oh, is that the original Brady Bunch? Oh, uh, I used to love watching that show. Good times. Andrea, the oldest, Nancy, Cindy, Christine. And oh, wow. Didn't even occur to me that there were five of them. That's what I was talking about. It was here when we moved in. God, I hope nothing happens to those kids. We got a lot of money tied up in this place and had a lot of repairs on top of that. Oh, and the poor things, they can't even move. Great. Oh my god. Is something gonna jump out? Not this again. Please don't let something jump out. Oh. Okay. There's a dead kid in there. Or dead kid in the house. Hi there. You haunting the little girls? In another time and space, this would be such an ideal place to live in. But man, it just had to be haunted. Oh my god. What? What now? Oh, I'm afraid to look. What is it? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> who is it? Who the hell is hanging like that? Is she seeing things that have happened in the past? Is that what's happening? We have to get out of here. 
I'm afraid that's not gonna help. Lorraine saw something. Oh my god, and they can't even leave. What, does it like latch onto them wherever they go? This dark entity has latched itself to your family and it's feeding off you. Of course it is. Of course it is. AKA, you're screwed. It means we gotta investigate, gather evidence, and provide proof. And that's the hard part. God, I wonder how many more things are gonna happen until they find proof. She's related to Marytown Estee. She's one of the women accused of witchcraft in Salem. She's hungering the trials. Oh my god, it's a witch. We're dealing with a witch here, are we? <laughs> and when the baby was seven days old, Jensen caught her sacrificing it in front of the fireplace. <laughs> wow. Time of death was pronounced at 3.07 in the morning. Oh, of course. And that explains the time phrasing. She had a boy named Rory who mysteriously disappeared in the woods. Then she killed herself in the cellar. Isn't that the kid that she saw? And a woman who worked as a maid in a neighboring home, she committed suicide too. God, it's an infestation of bad spirits in there. What do you say to that? God. Well, good luck trying to get rid of all of those. We're gonna start fresh, you know? A new house, a new beginning. Never seen them so happy. I swear to God, if this leads up to some sort of a tragedy, so help me, I will die. It just reveals to us what the naked eye can't see. Pretty far out, isn't it? Yeah, it's groovy. Groovy, baby! <laughs> what? <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Like holding a cross to a vampire? Yeah. Except I don't believe in vampires. I mean, why would you, right? In the midst of everything else that's in here, why would vampires be in here? Brad, get the camera. Oh god, here we go, here we go. Always work when you want it to. Oh god. No, it's working. Spoke too soon, man. Oh, you must have felt like this in a long time. I think the kids feel not safe with you around. So it clearly takes a toll on Lorraine, right? Every time she uses her powers. Or like when she feels the dark spirit or, you know, evil entities and stuff like that. Oh my... What the? What the hell was that? It's the witch, isn't it? It's the freaking witch. But yeah, it's gonna possess one of the family members. Oh my god! Quit it, man! There's not gonna be anything left of her. Oh! Oh! I knew it. I could just tell it was gonna happen. I could just tell something bad was gonna happen to her. Oh god, and now she's gonna be all demonic, isn't she? That's a nasty ass looking witch, man. I thought I saw her here, Roger, in the house. Oh man, I'd keep a close eye on her. Whatever Lorraine sees, feels, touches, it helps people, but it also takes a toll on her. A little piece each time. Yeah, I thought so. You could tell. It takes a lot out of her. It took a real big piece. Didn't talk, didn't eat, didn't come out for eight days. Oh, poor Lorraine. What did you see, girl? Did you see the pits of hell? Look what she made me do. What, honey? What did she make you do? Did she make you run a marathon? Or did she make you shit in your pants? Now that would upset me as well. Because I'm about to shit in mine. Ah! Uh, oh god, it's a ghost, isn't it? Look what she made me do. Okay, well look, I'd be upset at that as well. I feel you on that one, honey. Who made you do that? Ed. Look what you made me do! Oh, God. Jeez. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Lorraine mentioned something about a maid. Ed, Ed, we're getting something. Oh, God, it's the kid again. She's sleepwalking. Oh, God. Somebody's with her. Oh, my God. Oh, God, of course I can't get in. <laughs> Where the hell did she disappear to? Oh my god. Are you kidding me with this? Holy crap, where the hell does that lead to? Oh! Oh my god! What the hell? Oh my god. Is she alright? And what the hell are you laughing at, may I ask? Seriously. Oof. Talk about an evil sense of humour. Not cool! Oh, I'm not liking this at all. Oh god. Ah, ha, ha, ha. No! 
Just leave, leave me alone. I cannot deal. <laughs> oh my god. Made you do what? Oh my god. Oh. oh, it's the witch again. Oh my god. The wicked witch of the west. Oh my god. <laughs> Try throwing water at it. She possessed the mother to kill the child. That's what the Bruce Marks are. She's feeding off of her. Oh god, I knew it. I knew there was something up with the whole possession thing. Oh god, how are you gonna get rid of her? <gasps> oh, oh my god. Whoa! No, leave the damn girls alone. Oh my god. Deal with this. Oh my god. Judy? What the? Oh Judy? What's her daughter doing there? Or was it more like a vision? I had a vision of Judy in the water. I know it was some kind of warning. Please tell me nothing happens to her. Oh jeez, they couldn't take it anymore, could they? They had to move. It's not gonna do them any good. Oh my god. Something's gonna happen to her, isn't it? No! No. <laughs> what is it with you and the kids, man? Like, seriously? Mommy? Daddy? Oh, God, I really feel for her. Please tell me nothing happens to her. Dad? Oh, no, not in here, honey. You're not supposed to go in here. Oh, God. Where is everyone? Where's Granny? Oh, my God. Oh, no. God, on the rocking chair. God, that's freaky as. Oh, my God, it's Annabelle. Oh, oh God. I cannot, I cannot. You got both the demon and Annabelle there. <gasps> oh, God. Ed, do something wrong. Someone please save her. Ah! Oh. Oh my god! Oh, thank god, okay. Whew! Jeez, you hated the chair that much, eh? Oh, what the? Eee. I cannot deal with that doll. I cannot. I cannot. Where are we going, Mom? Oh my god! <laughs> She's gonna do something evil, isn't she? Do not harm your kid. Whatever you do. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, quick! Oh my god, she's gonna kill her! Oh my god! <gasps> oh! Holy crap! What the hell's happening to her? She won't let her leave the house. Let her leave her. If we take her out, the witch will kill her. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> oh! Damn you, you freaking witch. God, she's flying all over the place. <laughs> Oh my god! Ooh, and she took a bite out of him. Okay. Ooh. God, you're really pissing it off, man. Oh, you're gonna need something more powerful than that. Oh god. What are the birds acting all crazy as well? What the hell? God, the whole place has gone nuts. Ooh. Okay, and we're vomiting blood out. Wonderful. God. Ah. Yep, she revealed herself. And she's an ugly ass of a thing. Hi, witch. What? What now? Oh, God. Ooh. Exorcist much? Ooh, okay, she's hovering up in the air. Okay, oh boy. What are you gonna do next? Ooh. Put her down! Put her down! Oh god. She's not gonna listen, man. She's not gonna listen. Yeah, How's this gonna end, man? Did you leave my wife alone? God damn it, let her go! Do you hear me? Yeah, and quit with the evil laugh, man. It's creepy as. She's already gone. Ooh. And now you're all gonna die. God, I can't even look at her. I cannot even look at her. I found her! She's under the house! 
Oh my god, she's going after her. Quick! Grab her! You guys wouldn't kill a kid in this movie, would you? Would you? No! Ooh! There she is! Hi, ugly! This is your daughter! You can't give in! Yeah, woman. Please show some mercy. That's right, honey. Bring her back to the light. This is what you'll be leaving behind. That's it, honey. You know you can't do it. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oof. Oh, man. I thought for a second that she was going to do it. The light always wins. I'm so sorry. Oh, I love you so much. I couldn't bear the thought and notion of someone dying in that family. You did good. No, you did. They make a good team. Hey, cutie. <laughs> She's so adorable. Now, you guys are planning to move out of that house now, right? Right? There's a case in Long Island I'd like to discuss. Oh, of course. The nightmare continues. Oh, God. Not again. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, God. I've had enough. Seriously. No more, please. Eee. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Honestly. <laughs> it's like the biggest head of all. You think something's going to pop out, but it doesn't. Oh, wow. They're the actual families. Hey, wait, is this based off of an actual true story? Oh, god damn. That's even more creepier. <laughs> okay, that is all. Thank you. <sighs> okay. I managed to survive that. That was very creepy and intense for me, as I predicted. But I did also like it, oddly enough, and surprisingly enough. There are definitely some great stuff over here. Okay, first off, great performances by Patrick Wilson. Vera Farmiga and Lily Taylor. They all did a great job over here with their roles. What I really liked about the movie was its strong family theme that it had throughout the whole movie and how the family had so much love for one another, including Ed and Lorraine's family and love together. Yeah, their chemistry was fantastic together. I really enjoyed their performance. I really appreciate the fact that this movie took the time for us to actually care for the characters and that the primary focus over here was mainly the amount of love that they had for one another. I appreciate that a lot because I then get to care for these characters and the horror journey that they are going through, right? Usually within a horror movie, you don't really take the time to get to know the characters and everything, so that way you can care for them later on and, you know, the situation that they're in. And that usually has an effect on how you view the movie overall, right? Yeah, I, I really felt sorry for Carolyn and her family. I could literally feel the amount of stress that she was going through with having to look after five kids and everything and then having to deal with the house as well. And the poor dad trying to make a living as well. Great sound effects, great special effects and great music. They're all top notch over here. Even the music, it was very eerie at most times. Yeah, there were so many moments where it got so intense. I'm thinking, what the hell is gonna pop up next? Like when the characters are looking at the Jack in the Box and then nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of those moments, which I found to be a very good scare tactic as well. They did a good job with that. I was absolutely horrified of that witch. I felt so sorry for Carolyn as well when she got possessed. Especially when she was up on top of that cupboard. Oh God, that was so freaky. I was so relieved though, when Ed and Lorraine came to their rescue. I was like, oh yes, thank God. A sigh of relief. But yeah, it was great to see how they all had a bond together as well. That was good. That doll at the beginning absolutely creeped me out as well. Damn you, Annabelle. So many creepy moments. The hand clap in the dark was absolutely intense for me as well. The movie reminded me a little bit of The Exorcist and Amityville Horror. I'm assuming that they took bits and pieces off of that, which is great. I, I really loved The Exorcist, so I'm glad to see, you know, they took little bits and pieces off of that. I also really liked the 70s setting. They really sold me on it actually, you know, feeling like the 70s. Yeah, I think it's a very well thought out movie. I'd be interested to see where this franchise goes next. 
Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this one as well. I hope you liked it. Let me know your thoughts on this movie. What worked for you, what didn't work for you. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I shall see you all next time. Take care and have a spectacular spooky season.